Welcome to the Couch Time Podcast, where we give you tools to connect with your kids and point them to Christ. And we are going to start this off with a question. Uh, happy Monday, all of you listeners. If you had to describe how you feel right now by choosing an animal to represent that, what animal would you choose? Stephen, happy Monday. <laughs> I'd pick. <laughs> so for those who are just orangutan. listening, Stephen's mic is <laughs> just set way orang- high up, and now he's standing up on his chair. What if chair. I do the whole podcast like that? Yeah, that... You said an orangutan? I'm picking an orangutan. <laughs> So look at me. How Steven, you feel like right your, now? That's like your life. Look, yeah. at, my, look, at, my, look at my arms. I'm like is it because you're wearing a red shirt? That, that plays into it. <laughs> um, I feel like an orangutan. Uh, had a good night's sleep last night. Slept in a little bit. You know, enjoyed the night. His face mm. is red, too. And nice. my face is sunburnt from a little side trip <laughs> to Georgia. And I am just feel like I'm swinging around the branches, but could also just eat someone's face off at any moment. <laughs> Dude, Jungle Book orangutan was not real. That's true. I don't, I don't know, know what that means. But you've not seen I've the seen new Jungle, Jungle Book. Book? I don't the understand new one? the joke. No. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. All that right. one's we'll let, yeah, we'll let people read into that and wonder. Sorry for touching whatever. my mic, Dad. I'm trying to. Right. Yeah. Okay. Ryan, please don't Josh, give us a two-star Josh, rating if, for this. Josh, if you had to describe how you feel right now by picking an animal, what would the animal be? That is such a difficult question. Um... I what if we picked animals for each other and that's how we had to feel all day? Steven, you can't I tell p- me how to I, feel. I pick a sea cucumber for you today. Sea cucumber. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sorry, we're getting lost here, parents. Apparently, happy, happy dolphin Monday. trippy. Happy yeah. Monday. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's just a f- random, random funny question. Whatever, but can be helpful for an icebreaker when you're going to talk to your kids. And today, we hope to equip you with uh, some tools, some questions to talk with your kids and connect with them, uh, and hopefully, um, build on the conversation that you're having. You know, pointing them to Christ, trying to to connect with them and understand their worlds and their lives, and help them apply Scripture and truth. Um, today in this episode, we're going to discuss camp, which I'm super excited about. Mm. Stephen, how excited are you for camp? Um, if you want to know how excited I am, go watch the podcast where we canceled camp. Yes. And I cried, and then yes. do the inverse of that <laughs> times four, <laughs> which is means that I'm actually not crying, I'm filled with joy, and then add excitement because I didn't have it last year on top of that. Yes. That would show how excited yes. I am. So it's so, a lot of pent up excitement. Yes. So we're going to talk about camp, we're going to talk about some of the details, and we're also going to recap, you know, what we did at our campuses last night for youth group uh, and give you guys some questions. So that's that's the goal for this episode, uh, and we're going to start off by talking about camp. So middle school and high school camp, um, correct me if I'm wrong on any of these details, but it's middle school is going to be 6, uh, 7, so June 7th to June 11th, that's a Monday to a Friday, mm-hmm. and high school camp is going to be the next week, Monday to Saturday. Saturday, so yeah. 14th to 19th. So uh, I want to talk about with both of you guys. I really wish Ryan were here, but you know we can talk about it without him. It's okay. Um, camp is probably the highlight of the year. So middle school camp is for this right now current 5th mm-hmm. to 7th graders. Yep. Uh, high school camp is for current 8th graders through seniors that will be graduating this yep. year. So there's five grades that are at – um, high school camp and three that are at middle school, but it's designed for incoming kind of as a platform into the following school mm-hmm. year youth group kind of thing. Um, where are we going for? Do we want to share that information? Well, we've already shared it. We've already shared it. Already shared it. it. Already shared it. If yeah. you're listening and you haven't heard, we have a surprise for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, where are we going, Josh? We're going to Camp Harvest in New Wago, Michigan, New Wago. which is just north of Grand Rapids. So we're going to be. Before any, before you guys start freaking out, we're taking buses both ways. Yes. So yeah. you will you not, not have, have to, to take your kids. I, I already had a parent ask, like, do we have to drop them off or right. are we busing? It's like, don't yeah. worry. We will not make you drive 12 hours yes. to drop off your kids. Yes. And we pick them up. Yes. 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 So that that's where we're going. And I don't know about you guys, but like when we, so we visited, we visited the camp in December and this is... So, uh, Stephen, I know. I, actually, I think both of you have been to been to more camps than I have, but this is the best camp I've ever seen, and just even like their attitude and all that, like with 
wanting to make sure kids are safe, have fun, but also the emphasis on the gospel. Like, I just feel mm -hmm. like they align with us so much with that. So I'm stoked about it. Yeah. Um, Steven, I'm going to put you on the spot as far as camp. I already said it. Uh, and to kind of go off of what Josh just said, um, there's a few things that we're going to discuss here. Thank you, Josh, for fixing my mic. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, there's a few things I want to discuss here that I don't know if parents have subconsciously wondered about. I know students have, but we intentionally do camp all together, three campuses. Mm -hmm. So youth group on Sunday nights, we have separate campuses. There's separate staff. It's like we come together for summer camp. Um, and then I want to talk about a few other questions uh, after this. But why do we do camp, Stephen? And why are you excited about it? So elaborate. Why do we do camp and why should parents, listeners, teens be excited about camp? Yeah, I think there there's numbers of reasons we can talk about. Um, off the top of my head, I think one, when you – the life of a middle school or high school student is very um, – busy it's very jam-packed even if you look at your kids you're like they're not busy compared to me like there's always people they're talking to there's always things that they're doing there's news that they're hearing there's social media that they're on there's videos that they're watching there's school that they're worried about sports that they're stressed about and while we do ministry with them every week i feel like kids don't often take the time to like sit in and ponder what's been going on how their life is going mm -hmm. what they believe about god what they believe about faith right. so when you go to camp and we get a week where students don't have their cell phones. They're they're in a new new location, a beautiful place with friends. Um, it really allows kids to take some time and evaluate what they believe, how mm -hmm. life is going. Am I saved? Am I not saved? Do I believe in God? Do I not believe in God? Mm -hmm. And the conversations and relationships that get built at camp are like um, a catalyst. Like camp is a catalyst for relationships to like it grow and yeah. build so much faster mm -hmm. than anywhere else because you're literally doing everything you're, you're doing life together mm -hmm. in community as well as having conversations about faith as well as having a lot of fun and playing games as well as sharing meals together yep. um so at camp there's just this level of relational capital that gets built there's this depth of conversations mm -hmm. that happen there's this um looking back on life and evaluating as well as looking forward to the next school year and I just think we see more um, life change at camp than we do throughout the school year as kids have time and, and create space kind of for the spirit to work in their mm -hmm. life and not get chewed out by other things yeah, quickly. Yeah. Like, you know, you talk about the parable of the sower. Mm -hmm. And I think during the regular school year, you know, different things can, can get poured into your head and the enemy can quickly just – kind of fill it with other things you busyness think about busyness it. yeah it, goes it, it away. distracts yeah but yeah. at camp like you have to sit in that and think about it for a period of time yeah which is helpful. the way the way that i think about it and have talked about it with people is camp summer camp is an opportunity where we try to eliminate the barriers mm -hmm. that usually exist mm -hmm. in relationships mm -hmm. um furthermore the goal is to try to create this safety and in that is where people feel comfortable to be vulnerable where yeah. they share what they actually think they talk honestly and openly yeah that's where the gospel conversations happen that's yeah. where people can really listen when they're not defensive when and you know people actually care about you and so camp is an awesome time um, and also our leaders now have a whole week to pour into your students yeah. it's yeah. like normally our leaders also they have full-time jobs they're busy they're trying to work with your kids totally. calendar to meet with them but now they have a whole week where they and don't have to worry about what those happens either. what yes. happens during the school year youth group i mean investment camp is a huge investment time wise mm -hmm. energy wise money it, mm -hmm. but it pays off you know sometimes it's at camp but oftentimes it's mm -hmm. the following months and year even in youth group where you mm -hmm. know kids that you connected with at camp it's like you have a relationship with them mm -hmm. that you can build on it's a foundation that mm -hmm. often gets laid so camp is amazing um so as a student ministry though we believe it you're doing this yeah is that bad i'm tapping yeah. on the table yeah. oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh what was i going to say we want to be a community that connects students to Jesus and the mission of the church. Community is one of the biggest things that we try to build. So I want to challenge you listeners, whether you have teenagers, you know teenagers, you are a teenager, whatever, um, consider encouraging somebody 
to to go to camp. Yeah. You know, yeah. so parents, who could your teens take to camp? Maybe yeah. there's somebody that they work with that doesn't have community. They don't go to church. This is an opportunity School. to invite kids that go yep. to other churches to come to our church camp. They can anybody's welcome, but who doesn't have community? Yes. Who isn't plugged in? Yes. Who who needs a safe place to be to be known and mm-hmm. to know other people, to be loved and to experience the love of Jesus. Um, maybe there's neighbors in your, you know, close vicinity that have teenagers. It's like, go, go talk to them about camp. Yeah. It's a totally. super fun time. Um, yeah, it's great. So consider who you might uh, talk to about going to camp. So here's what I'll say. Steve and Josh, correct me, you know, if you want to say this a different way or – we do not want any student to not go to camp because of money. 100%. So if any, if you parents, if you know of anybody that, you know, finances are tight, or maybe you finances are tight, just just talk to us. There are yeah. funds available. We will find a way yeah. to make told, it possible for your kids. to I go. told my kids last night, go home. So parents, you may you may want to know this in case you need a different excuse to tell your kid why they can't go to camp. <laughs> right. I told them to go home and say, Mom, Dad, I want to go to camp. Yeah. And if your parents respond, they say, Sorry, we can't afford it. To tell them, Well, Stephen Petrie said. That if you said that, which you probably would, to tell you <laughs> that if money's an issue, it's not an issue, and to mm-hmm. talk to Stephen. Right. So if you don't want your kids to camp, go to camp, don't tell them it's because of money, because yeah. then they're going to say, Stephen, if money's an issue, it's not an issue. Right. Talk to Stephen. <laughs> right. So if yeah. money's an issue, it's not an issue. We will get your kids. To camp. And yeah. and we understand also money. It's humbling, you know, to either yeah. not have money or it's not that you don't have money. It's a value thing, and right. you know that's a bunch of money that we need to put you know, or want to put to other things, we would love to have a conversation about it, whatever, whatever it is. And, you know, your kids don't have to go to camp. Mm -hmm. You know, camp is something that we do to try to help you as you're parenting your kids. We think it's a valuable resource, but you know, if you've got reasons for them not to go, that's great. But either way, we would love to talk about it and find ways for everybody who wants to go to camp to go to camp. Yeah, hundred percent. So, uh, cool. If you have any other questions about camp, go check out the webpage. Josh, yep. what is it again? GraceKY.org forward slash summer camp. If, if you have an eighth grader through senior in high school this year, then make sure you click on high school, high school yeah. and then fifth grade through seventh grade, click on middle school. Yeah. Um, and there's, there's some FAQs there and stuff yeah. like that. Did you and, get stuff and, answered? Yeah. And like there, Registration this year, if you've done camp before, is just a little different because we're doing it through the actual camp. There, There's instructions there, but if you have any issues, please reach out to us, and we'll try to get you uh, signed up. Yeah, we're, we're very, oh, very excited. One, one more thing. I, I did have a parent on our Facebook group ask about COVID restrictions. Mm. We don't really know 100% what they're going to be at yep. that point, so we'll let you know as soon as we know. Mm-hmm. This camp has worked through a whole bunch of different. They ran camps all last year. Yeah, yeah. so they they they've got a lot of things figured out. So as soon as we know that, we will let you guys know. Yeah. So. yeah. Cool. Yes. Sunday recap. All right, we're gonna switch gears now a little bit. Um, don't hesitate to reach out about camp questions yep. again. Uh, but now we're gonna we're gonna switch and do kind of an old school Sunday recap, which we used to do. Um, like I said. You know, summer camps we do together. We're one church that we have separate ministries. Um, so, what did you guys do at your campus for student ministry last night? Yeah. Steven? Josh? Me? Yeah, Steven? go for it. Steven. Okay. Um, so, we've been in what was supposed to be a three week series now for like 15 weeks. Or something like that. <laughs> But not Look because at you pulling a pastor Brad. No, 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 not not oh. for good reasons. Oh. Uh, oh, because, because we've canceled, because we've had right. parties, because yes. we've yeah. we've had all sorts of things that have gone yeah. in the way. So it has gone longer than it was supposed to. But Sometimes we've been happens. we've just been going through the mission statement of Grace Students to be oh. a community that connects students to Jesus and the mission of the church, and trying to really um, push that into mm-hmm. kids' brains. Like, hey, mm-hmm. this is what it means to be a part of Grace Students. Mm-hmm. When your friends ask you, "What is that logo?" Yep. you can tell them. You can explain mm-hmm. it. Um, and also so that each student will know like that I have a place, I have a role, I have, a, I have a part to play in this, in this puzzle, in this game, um, of life, uh, and I'm needed in, in this community. Mm-hmm. So we, we talked through to be a community a few weeks ago. We talked through connecting to Jesus a few weeks ago, and then we will talk through, um, joining a mission and how students can, can be an example to the rest of the church mm-hmm. yes. of what it looks like, um, to live life purposefully, yes. Um, to be 
uh, fishers of men, to be servants, to be like Christ and, and humble yourself and sacrifice and serve others. And so we talked about the mission of Christ and what he came to do to seek and save the lost, but also to be a servant, to, to empty himself, to give of himself. Um, and as followers of Christ, how do we model that? Um, and so we, we talked about different things, but ultimately it was kind of this vision of like, I want adults to look at you guys yes. and be like, dang, yeah, they, I need to learn from them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think to be an example to believers, right? And they, and, they yep. re, and I think they can, yes. I think there, there's so much, you know, we talked about, you know, okay, they, you guys aren't the church of tomorrow. You're the church of today. Yep. You're the going to be the ones that impact the church of tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And you can also impact the church of today by how you start living. Mm-hmm. And what if you guys were serving on Sunday mornings and p- adults walked in and they see all these kids doing the welcome and these kids they ushering and these Why kids doing I? Sunday mornings. It's like, oh, these kids know what it looks like to be followers of Christ. And let's put that in our lives now. Let's start modeling it now. And that will carry on for a lifetime. Mm-hmm. And you'll get to look back and see um, how the Lord used you and how, how, how you got to be a part of God's, mm-hmm. of God's mission. That's and awesome. what an awesome and rewarding thing that yeah. is. It's, and one uh, last thing I'll say about independence that you guys can talk. We also have a new youth space being built right now, which is super exciting. So we've, yeah, we talked about it on Sunday mornings, but maybe parents haven't heard. It's currently under construction right now. It's all painted. The floors are going in this week. That's great. So we are super, super excited for that, and I cannot wait. Hopefully that will be open, like, the first week of, of April or something like that. So. We're going to – we should totally film podcasts there in the future. So hate. It's going to be awesome. There's bleachers. People can come and watch. There's not bleachers. I've, <laughs> I've tried to explain this thing to Aaron multiple times. I'll explain it's, it later. It's not bleachers. They're getting yes. they're getting a basketball yes. gym no. with bleachers. Kidding. They're not. All right, Josh, go ahead. Farms Campus yes. Middle School. We, how's, how's stuff going and what are you guys going through? Good, yeah. So both – uh, I'll talk a little bit about both since we're going through the same series. So uh, right now both high school and middle school, we're going through the book of Jonah, and that's that's been really cool um, – because I know Ryan has done this, I've done this, and last night uh, John Miner, one of the um, uh, volunteers, he he taught. Um, but it, it's just been really cool talking about Jonah in a way that doesn't necessarily focus on Jonah or a big fish. Like we've all been really trying to focus on who God is in this. There's um, so much more in the book of Jonah than just the big fish and literally this Jonah guy. Yeah. The, two lines we always think about the fish there's two lines the fish ate jonah and puked him up yeah. like that's literally but what. that's pretty crazy so, <laughs> it is yeah. pretty crazy but <laughs> let's we also, not overlook how crazy that but is. we also don't like <laughs> talk True. about yeah. how amazing it is yeah. that like you know god like all of a sudden started a storm and stopped a storm there's and a, like yeah there's you all know, kinds it, of stuff it's, in there yeah. it's nuts but um you know the conversations have been really good in the groups um and yeah, just really highlighting who God is, because that, that's that's a big thing. Like, if if we're going to connect students to Jesus, like, we need them to know how amazing he is. Mm-hmm. And so um, just highlighting that and, and trying to make it practical. So that's been really good. Super cool. Um, at Fort Thomas, we've been doing something since the start of the school year. So in August, we launched Stephen kind of— Kind of like what you were saying, the mission statement of, of the student ministry, want to be community, you know, that points students to Jesus and the mission of the church. Sunday nights kind of was, hey, let's let's join in the mission of the church. And so we've been talking about the sermon series from Sunday mornings at oh, Fort Thomas. Awesome. Yeah. But the whole point is like, hey, you guys, you guys are the church. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to just give you more information. Let's go deeper into the sermon that many of you are listening to with your mm-hmm. parents or on your own. Uh, and let's talk about it. And then, f- like, to take it a step further, how do we apply it? Mm, you know, and great. a lot of adult small groups, that's what they're talking about on their small groups. Sure. It's like, hey, guess what, guys? That's what we're going to talk about in our small groups yep. of, well, let's take this word that is being preached that we're hearing and let's, what are we going to do with it? And let's mm-hmm. pray for each other about yeah. it. So that's what we've been doing. It's been really good. Um, yeah, I think overall for Thomas, it's been. Thankfully, we haven't had to cancel due to, you know, any COVID outbreaks or anything like that. But it does feel a little bit choppy. I know the kids, it's like school has been canceled. Some kids have gone back. Some kids are doing half. Some kids are getting ready to go back full time to school, you know, coming off the holidays. It's just been weird with the snow days and stuff like that. So there's not been a real good rhythm uh, every week. Um, 
but overall the community and stuff like that god's really been using coming off 2020 relationally everybody's hungry for for real relationships and community and i think uh moving forward looking into spring coming and stuff like that warmer weather i think people are excited to uh to do stuff together and hopefully i'm hopeful that the community uh is going to do stuff together Mm -hmm. um not just everybody individually so we've been building this uh, this community that uh, hopefully is gonna gonna take off. So, um, so uh, kind of to sum it up, uh, each campus is a little bit different. You know, three different series, and then if you know Ryan were here high school, they're doing Jonah as well at the Florence campus. But each campus is different. But we're one church. We do camps together in the summertime. You know, because it's you know we're gonna do some things together all campuses, but a lot of it is going to be we can know each other more intimately and we can encourage each other and point each other to Christ on a smaller level at each campus. So here's a few few questions, parents, that you can take and run with as far as you know yourself being provoked um, to to consider ways to connect with your kid, and then also some real practical questions. Stephen, Josh, if you guys have any others that come to mind, feel free to interject. So I wrote down a couple cool. here. Um, so the first one is this, parents, you know, what is something your kids have gone through that is hard for you to truly understand how they feel? Mm-hmm. Um, they live in such a different world. You know, just just ponder that for a minute. You know, some of the things that they have had to work through, whether it's NTI or it's COVID pandemic, um, how could you enter that thing with them? How could mm-hmm. you engage in regards to that thing? Mm-hmm. Second question is, do you have any old journals or letters from when you were a teenager you could read through with them? Can you recall a circumstance or conversation that was hard for you to go through? Um, It's easy to forget being a teenager. Um, But when I think about it, when I reminisce, it the immediate reaction that I get is empathy and sympathy for teenagers now. So parents, I don't know how old you are. But consider, you know, what was it like when you were a teenager? And consider most of the problems circumstantially look different, but the heart of it really is probably not the that different. Would you guys agree? The yeah. heart's the same. Um, yeah, so consider those things. Something that you could ask your students a couple questions. How do you think God feels about you? So that's directly related to what Fort Thomas we talked about and Brad's message. It's mm-hmm. like, how do you think God feels about mm-hmm. you? Mm-hmm. In what area of your life do you feel most satisfied or empty right now and why? Mm-hmm. Um, so those are two things we talked about that Brad preached on that I think we should be considering, but also have conversations with your kids, whether they talked about it on Sunday night, you know, at your campus or not. Um, those are healthy things to talk about. Just figure out where the kids are at, gauge where they're at. What are they wrestling with? What are they struggling with? How do they view themselves in light of, you know, God and how does God view them? What do they think about that? So Mm -hmm. any closing things before we wrap up, fellas? No, I think that's, those are great questions to end with. Super cool. We love you guys, uh, and we want to seek to help you as you parent and raise your kids. Always don't hesitate to reach out and let us know how we can do a better job of that. If you've got ideas, topics you want us to cover on the podcast, have a great week. Hey, thanks for watching. You can follow us on Instagram at the Couch Time Podcast. Let us know what you thought about the podcast. Also, let us know if there's any topics or things you'd like us to cover. You can comment and email us at podcast at graceky.org. Please like, subscribe, and share the video with other parents.